Washington. A lockdown pandemic struck world cut its carbon dioxide emissions this year by 7%, the biggest drop ever, new preliminary figures show. The Global Carbon Project, an authoritative group of dozens of international scientists who track emissions, calculated that the world will have put 37 billion US tons, 34 billion metric tons, of carbon dioxide in the air in 2020. That's down from 41 billion US tons, 36. 4 billion metric tons, in 2019. According a study published on Thursday in the journal Earth System Science Data. Scientists say this drop is chiefly because people are staying home, traveling less by car and plane, and that emissions are expected to jump back up after the pandemic ends. Ground transportation makes up about one-fifth of emissions of carbon dioxide, the chief man-made heat-trapping gas. Of course, lockdown is absolutely no the way to tackle climate change, said study co-author Corinne Lequere, a climate scientist at the University of East Anglia. The same group of scientists months ago predicted emission drops of 4% to 7%, depending on the progression of COVID-19. A second coronavirus wave and continued travel reductions pushed the decrease to 7%, Lequere said. Emissions dropped 12% in the United States and 11% in Europe, but only 1.7% in China. That's because China had an earlier lockdown with less of a second wave. The calculations, based on reports detailing energy use, industrial production and daily mobility counts, were praised as accurate by outside scientists. Even with the drop in 2020, the world on average put 1, 185 tons, 1, 075 metric tons, of carbon dioxide. Final figures for 2019 published in the same study show that from 2018 to 2019 emissions of the main man-made heat-trapping gas increased only 0.1%, much smaller than annual jumps of around 3 percent Even with emissions expected to rise after the pandemic, scientists are wondering if 2019 be the peak of carbon pollution, Le Quere said. We are certainly very close to an emissions peak, if we can keep the global community together, said United Nations Development Director Arkham Steiner. Latest comment in future work from home, online medicine, digital media and home delivery of goods will decrease carbon emissions. See all comments add comment Chris Field. Director of the Stanford Woods Institute for the Environment, thinks emissions will increase after the pandemic, but said, I am optimistic that we have, as a society learned some lessons that may help decrease emissions in the future. For example, he. Please support our channel to grow by pressing subscribe button as well as the bell icon for environment updates. Thank you.